hey hello guys welcome to the channel again and in this particular session we will be looking into one of the most important concepts in uh, any programming language uh, in any programming interview and uh, in any of the computer science courses you will see okay so this is what is basically twisted asked in many ways and people get misguided that this is a question of um, uh, some other concept it is for uh, the but directly or indirectly you will be seeing that a uh, search algorithm is getting used inside many of the important and trickier questions um, inside even the programming interviews and also in um, in the in the algorithms you you use in your day to day life okay so let's get started okay as i told you that uh, the search algorithms are very very important okay you need to be aware about each and every details of how these algorithms are written how these algorithms are manipulated and how these algorithms work step by step okay you need to understand the very basic uh, the to go to the very root of it like how the algorithm works and then see how they are being implemented in the library like the arrays um, API, the collections API, and the other APIs what you see inside any programming language. And once you are able to get the understanding of of those algorithms, you will be you know, uh, in in a very good state to solve any any programming questions. So before we proceed, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would definitely recommend subscribing you if you are interested in data structure and algorithms. Um, how to prepare for interviews uh, do very well in interviews um, I will be dealing with n number of questions okay uh, throughout the series and also there will be a separate uh, set of questions list that will be prepared that will be only for um, the tech interviews and the competitive programming stuff so just subscribe it and uh, no, enjoy so let's get started so agenda for today um, uh, in this particular session we will be looking into uh, the search how do we search in in different data structures so we will start with arrays okay how do we search in arrays and then uh, we will look into uh, how do we search in other collections okay and when i say other collections it comes into a linear and non-linear we will see the different categorizations of collections we have and we will be seeing how we can search in that particular uh, set of collections then we will be looking into the different types of searches uh, one is called linear search one is called binary search and there is also uh, one repeated question that is getting asked again and again and that is repeat uh, recursive binary search algorithm um, so that's just a, no, a matter of understanding and that that would be very easy to uh, know write down in, in uh, we will see we'll write uh, some of some of it in IntelliJ and see how how that particular algorithm looks okay and last but not the least uh, we'll be looking into different um, interview questions based on the application of uh, the searches okay and i as i told you there are n number of very important questions uh, which can be solved through binary search which can be solved through these search algorithms so stay tuned till the end and hopefully you will be able to solve many of them so uh, before we proceed i will just let you know that these uh, this this particular uh, session might contain all of the things except for the interview questions which will be dealing in the next part but it is very important to understand this particular concept in a bit depth okay when i say in a bit depth how this is getting implemented inside java how this is getting implemented in scala or or python or any other language we'll see the actual library code okay how that is written and how that implements uh, binary search and all so uh, so let's get started okay uh, so we'll be looking uh, the things in, in in the order that is mentioned it will search look into search in arrays then we'll be looking into collections then we'll look into linear search binary search okay recursive binary search and finally the application interview questions right so uh, let's start with uh, linear search okay uh, so what is a linear search so suppose you have an array so array is a continue uh, contiguous memory location right so you start with index 0 and go to index n if the array if the size of the array is um, n right so if say you have to find an element so you on the screen you can see uh, we are trying to find element 13 okay so if the algorithm says you need to traverse from index 0 and incrementally go on to 1 2 3 and in 
to the n and you just need to compare the value like whether your value what you are searching is there present in the array or not that's called linear search that's basically plain linear search uh, uh, algorithm okay so you can see um, in the picture right we are going to search for 33 and it starts from 10 right it will start from 10 then 14 19 26 27 31 and finally 33 be able to find that element so this is basically a normal linear search very uh, so it's it's like very exhaustive right uh, so you will be getting tired of searching throughout the array so the complexity is of course you can see and guess like the complexity of this particular algorithm is o of n okay uh, we will be uh, more on uh, looking into an algorithm that is basically mostly used inside uh, all the programming language APIs okay and it's used everywhere like this uh, whenever it comes down to searching it's, it's the, the, there can be only one variation that is that that is getting used in almost um, universally that's called binary search okay and it is uh, pretty pretty fast okay you can search um from a given array in basically um log n time okay uh, uh the complexity of this binary search is log n and log n is like very very fast and as compared to the linear search which is o of n right so how this algorithm works okay so let's see on uh, the screen visualization right okay uh so let's say uh we have to find an element called 47 okay so how does it do so first of all it will find so basically the basic motto of the binary or the basic requirement for an array to be using a binary search is that the array should be uh, sorted okay so you can see that the array on your screen is sorted right and we need to find an element called 47 okay uh, so we need to find 47 so what it does is it's just finds the mid okay mid is 14 okay and then compare that with 47 it is less so it will ignore the left half and go to the right half again find the mid find 45 and finally it will uh, say that the element is going to lie at the end that is on the right and it is able to find that so basically what it does is the array is sorted okay and when the array is sorted uh, you ensure that you find the mid uh, and the mid will be some mid value okay uh, and you will just compare with the value you are searching for and if your value is greater than that particular value we will ignore the other half okay and the and definitely your value is either going to be present in the second half or it is not going to be present in the array right and you will keep on doing this um, traversal again and again at the end either you will get that element or basically that element will not be present so you will be returning whatever like minus one or something so this is a basic binary search algorithm so it's pretty pretty fast right uh, as compared to the previous algorithm like you have to go to the n uh, nth element to find uh, any element when you talk of linear search but when you talk of binary search it basically just keeps on halving down again and again it can it it, it it reduces the range of searching to half again range of searching to half and so on and so forth and finally at the end you are able to find that element or not in in the in the particular so it's, it's pretty cool like uh, this particular algorithm is, is pretty cool to be used and, and and it gets used we will see that in all the apis in in the languages like collections dot binary search arrays dot binary search this uh, this particular algorithm is getting used okay so this is the com comparison right you can see the iteration on the screen like uh, uh, the above algorithm is binary search and the below algorithm is linear search you can see the yeah, the element we are trying to find out that, that is nine is achieved in too much of a less time right so let's it start it okay so you can see in the linear search it's going one by one but in binary search it is just reducing the range it needs to search for and finally it finds it in a way way quick time as, as compared to the linear search okay so this is the power of of basically um, the binary search so this is a basic uh, code for linear search okay so linear search is nothing as i told you it starts from zero index it goes to the length okay you can see on the screen the code is very very simple it starts from the zeroth index it goes to the length of the array it keeps on checking inside the loop that whether the element you are trying to search is inside that particular array index position if it is you will just return true or else if it is not there you will return false Similar is the algorithm for binary search. It is very, very simple. Okay. I will just explain you 
uh, I will refer to the line number okay and that will uh, help you understand how this actually is working so we saw that image right uh, it finds the mid of uh, middle of the particular array right so you can see that uh, we need to find an a value so value needs to be searched on okay and this particular array and this particular array is the input so we find the low that is 0th index and the high that is the nth index and the middle basically middle will be initialized inside the while loop while low is less than equal to high so basically why we are uh, doing uh, low is less than equal to high so for for any of the iteration for any of the iteration or any of the sub problems so basically we have divided the whole binary search into sub problem what we are doing we are taking the array we are finding the mid comparing that with the value and if it is then we update the indexes like the high and low gets updated okay and the high and low gets updated again and again until you go to the either the element or the element is not present in the array at all okay so that's what uh, so until and unless low is less than equal to high there will be a mid that will be getting calculated which is at num line number seven and you can see that i'm just comparing the value which you need to search like the value we need to search from the middle element and we update the pointers like high and low based on that okay and it's pretty simple like if you just visualize through that image it will just uh, settle down to your brain and and it's uh, like there are n number of variations of this binary search uh, beware that we'll be solving uh, as many questions as we can in the coming sessions and that will give you a boost of confidence like you can solve any search algorithm problem so this was the code for binary search okay and now we will see uh, how the api looks inside java so i have just opened arrays dot java class inside uh, inside the intellij okay so you can see that this is the api okay this binary search and you see the algorithm we just saw right the algorithm we just saw is the same as that arrays dot binary search so this is the library api right this algorithm we saw just now and this is this one is what uh, is given by the java library api uh, don't worry about line number 1912 okay this means that you are halving okay uh, this mid is waiting half as i as we have seen in the last session that bitwise operators are very very fast so you can op operate you can do some by two and all these operations using bitwise which we, which we can see an example on line number 1912 so this is getting halved and and the same algorithm what we see okay so the uh, the pointers are getting updated and you are getting new low new high and basically calculating the range in which you need to search to and finally at the end of the day you will be uh, getting to know your index either the element is present or not okay so this is the java arrays api okay uh, then um, let's look into the search how the how does the search gets uh, uh gets this working done inside the collection framework so as you know or if you are not aware just uh just try to look into the image uh like in the collection api there are two different types of two different types of collections one is the linear collection and one is the map type of a collection or a hashing collections we say so we'll be seeing how to search from a linear collection one example and one example for how to search in a map type of a data structure okay and this is very very important uh, so let's look into first um, how to search from a linear type of a collection so say we are taking an example of array list okay so you can see that in in an array list we are just trying to add all of them and there is a method called collections dot binary search okay um, in through which you can pass the collection itself and the key what you want to find out and it will internally use the binary search algorithm and try to give you the actual uh, index of where that particular uh, particular value is present okay so basically you can see if i am going to find n uh, so it's it's basically trying to find the n and give you get a give out the index so just note that it's printing d uh, it should be like n right uh, so basically we are trying to find n so it should be n like index n is available at point 3 uh, at position 3 okay so this the uh, this was the linear collection like the array list uh, the second one is a uh, map okay how do you search inside a map right so the so say we are taking a hash map right and we are putting some values inside it and there is a value called contains key uh, through which you can basically search whether that particular 
element is present inside you know, in, inside the map or not so before uh, before i tell you the algorithmic complexity time complexity of this particular search right hashing you must be aware that how hash works okay um, i will be creating a separate video for uh, the complete hash map how it works and how the hashing technique works or the hash table works inside any uh, any programming language but just remember that there is a bucketing system okay a hash value is calculated and based on that it is getting put and get so basically we do a constant amount of work so always getting from a hash map or putting into a hash map is always o of 1 okay so the hash map complexity here is going to be o of 1 here last but not the least uh, we'll look into uh, the two approaches of uh, of creating a binary search algorithm or writing a binary search algorithm uh, we have already seen uh, we have already seen that uh, recursion a recursive algorithm is something in which the function calls itself okay right uh, so here again uh, here you can see in the latter part of uh, of the algorithm right from line number 16 to line number uh, 24 we have implemented the recursive binary search and the above part like line number 4 to line number 12 it's it's like the normal iterative binary search which we just saw okay so what's the difference between uh, both of them so the in the recursive one you can see it's it's a way simpler okay we are not uh, doing the any while looper so we are just calling the function again and and it and it differs like only in a way that the method signature has that sub problem um, sub problem parameters as well like the start end will be creating when whenever we solve any recursive problem we solve we solve it using a function that basically takes in some parameters that it gets called again and again recursively so we have taken uh, apart from the target and apart from the array okay in the parameter you can see we are passing start and end in the recursive algorithm and we are doing the same thing uh, as we did in the iterative way we just compare uh, we, we inside a loop we check that the start is less than or equal to n and finally we calculate the mid and we call the function again with the new uh, new range like the new mid and the new uh, the new start and the new end and we keep on doing that until we get on to the particular element or if not at the end of the loop you can see that we are returning minus one okay so uh, yeah this was pretty much all the uh, all all an important concepts uh, regarding the search algorithms in the next session uh, we will be looking into um, the different important questions uh, on binary search which are very very important uh, they get twisted and uh, people generally fail to understand that this is a binary search problem so we'll be seeing all those problems okay so stay tuned and uh, stay safe until then um, uh, see you in the next session take care bye bye Thank you.